Alrighty. There goes the owner. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Let's get out in here to sunlight. As you guys see, as you guys see, I bought a storage unit. So this unit here actually sold for 90 bucks online. Something just made noises in there. All right, so the initial buyer who bought this unit for 90 bucks never paid for it. This was done online. And uh, after five days of not paying for it, the auction company sent out a mass email to whoever wants this can buy it for $40. But you had 72 hours to clean it out. And I guess I was the first person. So this is definitely a first for me. I paid 40 bucks for this unit. Let's, uh, let's dive in and make it a good one. What do you say? $40, online storage unit. Let's do it. All right, so the reason why I jumped on this unit, tell you what, it doesn't smell the best. Um, there is a bunch of kid stuff on here, which is kind of like, probably deterred a lot of people, but I saw a ton of these bins, and everyone knows bins are always fun. Uh, but I so far see a lot more kid stuff than I anticipated. Uh, this stuff has been here a while. As you guys see how dirty this stuff is. Cobwebs on everything. Uh, so we'll dig into this. It looks kind of like... Is that a Wii? It could be a Wii. Look at all the cobwebs. Wow. Wow, did we already start off and hit it good? That's It looks like a Wii system. Is that all games in there? Throw this up here. Wow, this would have been <laughs> the first box we grab. So yeah, that's a DVD. Oh wow, looks like this is going to be all Wii game. No, maybe not. Bam, bam. That's a DVD. Put it over there. That's in our DVDs. That is a DVD. Boom. Another Wii game. Is it in there? That's a big question. Are the games even in there? That is not the same game. That is Game Party Three. Epic Mickey. This game is still sealed. DVDs. More Wii games. Wii Spider-Man. This is Super Mario Bros. Wii. So this actually goes with this game. Frankenstein. So you got all these games in here. That's crazy. And a Wii system. Nice. It's a good score. I don't know if that's $40 right off the bat. But that's a good score to start off the day. This looks like it's brand new, brand new fan. This is a whole thing of like Twilight series books. Looks like a whole series of it. Curious what's in like a lot of these containers. This is all paperwork. Got a Hot Wheels car and a golf ball. Oh, so I might have to go through all this later on because. Although I'm pulling out gems. Let's see if this is in here. Mario Party DS. It is. Wait. No, it's not. This is Mario and Sonic Olympic Winter Games. But. Wow. Xbox 360 controller. I'm pulling out some gems out of this thing. Let's see. It's all like paperwork. See what's on the bottom of this. Got a PS3 controller. Alright, moving in. We have this whole container here. It's Hot Wheels. Almost looks like. Take those. Oh, wow. Let me throw that in there. Holy moly. Look at all the Hot Wheel cars. Container's kind of busted. 
I've never seen one like this. This is kind of cool. They look to all be newer. This just says real toy made in China. Why do I feel like they just had... I feel like Hot Wheels just released a garbage truck. Trash truck by Mattel Matchbox. Wow. That's got to be at least... Retail. I mean, that's retail. It's like $50, $60. But resale... Got at least a low end ten dollars, fifteen bucks. That's a good score. I can only imagine what's probably underneath here. This is all taped off. It's got some weight. Oh, it's like really taped. Oh, it's just it's missing the lid. Oh, I see what it is. Just a toy box with all newer toys. I don't even know what that is. It's a toy to something. Little army men. Nothing too crazy. I see a Ninja Turtle, but. That's not Ninja Turtle. Ninja Turtle fell to the bottom. Um, just a whole box of toys. New toys, that is. Nothing vintage in there. So far, a pretty decent unit. Um, I ended up probably only having about five items of garbage. It's in here. Looks like a PlayStation. Is it a PS3? PS3 even says on it. Nice. And some random stuff. We got a PS3. Alright, so we really get out the wind. We really haven't even made a dent in this unit. Um, uh, usually when I go home, I'll go through this whole box, but I can just look by. We got mouse droppings and stuff. Doesn't look like there's anything too too appealing on the resale value here. This is marked close. That's exactly what it is. It's close. Table screws. this down as you guys see it's pretty much just clothes I won't bore you too much with that there's nothing really too spectacular you have a police city of Toyland police costume it's a Mickey Mouse jacket but I won't bore you too much with clothes also we have some light bulbs which might be helpful a little mini foosball was one of those DVD VHS recorders or players, but the VHS cover is completely busted. Actually, some pretty cool patio, patio chairs. Does show a lot of wear and rust and cobwebs, but Kind of cool. bag up here seems to be more closed. It looked like the other bin was also closed. I'm going to have to open up this bag and take out all the sneakers. I see in the back to a pair of Jordans there. 
I don't know what Jordan the sevens, the fives, I have no idea. I'm not a Jordan guy. So I'm gonna take out all those sneakers, put them aside. Just gonna go out on a limb and say this thing is probably more clothes. Could be wrong. Nope. Clothes. Jersey? No, Spider-Man shorts or pants. That's a, it's like a yoga mat on the side. The nice thing with when I do these storage units is I end up donating most of the stuff. If I don't sell it, I donate it. If, let's say you do these, if you have a storage unit and uh, no one buys it, they generally haul in or call in a guy who just hauls stuff away and he might charge $400 for this unit and he'll throw away everything, one shot, straight to dump for 150 bucks and make himself $250. He doesn't donate, he doesn't do anything, just literally hauls everything straight to dump, doesn't take time to separate stuff, just in and out. That's his business. So by buying these units, you know, I'm definitely able to recycle this stuff and someone else can definitely use it down the line. What I'm kind of curious about is what's in this box. That is a, was that, a Red Rider BB gun? Now, most YouTubers will probably clickbait this. Oh, wow. That's exactly whatever that is. 30 inch, 32 inch HD TV LCD LED. I'm trying to think about what size do I have in my room. Hmm. I might have to save that. I think I will. I don't know what that TV costs, 150, 200 bucks maybe? It's not a smart TV, but it is a 32 inch flat screen TV. HD, TV, LED. That's a skateboard on the bottom. Here you go. Headset. A little bit of pool, tabletop pool. And the rest of this box looks like nothing but cookware and of course well, you have some glassware but lots and lots of plates and some cranberry martini mixer in case you get thirsty this whole bag right here is literally oh well, you got some PlayStation 1 games it's literally nothing but knockoff DVDs. Like, I feel illegal just holding these. Like, this whole thing is literally just... They're like... I mean, it's the whole thing. The whole thing's like that. I, I guess those you just have to throw out because you can't really sell those. Oh, this looks cool. Oh, speaking about a game that just seems to never end, Grand Theft Auto V. This is a limited edition strategy guide. And I imagine when this was at GameStop or whatever, this thing was probably like 30 or 40 bucks. But for any gamers out there, it's actually a really cool piece. Well, literally this whole bag is just nothing but knockoff DVDs. Cool Grand Theft Auto strategy guide. So, I gotta say, I apologize if this video was at all loud. Literally, they got me right next to a highway. And it's like a main road around here. Um, I start to wonder, like, you know, I'm finding a lot of Wii stuff and PS2 and PS3 stuff. Going back maybe 10 years, was this all filled with, like, Nintendo, original Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, N64 stuff? Could be. I might have missed out on that error. You got picture book, baby clothes, bottom one's all books. Top one, you got more. That's an Nintendo, I think that's for your Nintendo DS. I don't see the DS, but it's got to be in her somewhere. 
You got more games. <coughs> DS games. Stacks on stacks. DS games. Duffery, San Juan, Puerto Rico, Don Q, Crystal, Puerto Rican rum. Let's see if the rum's in there. This thing came open. Got it. Nope. Would you believe yourself? It looks like. Yep. PlayStation game. PlayStation game. This whole thing is all nothing but PS3 games. Like, look at it. PS3. PS3. More PS3. More PS3. I never even heard of Sleeping Dogs. <coughs> Literally, this whole thing is just, just straight up games. Look at it. Just games. The whole thing is games. They're all PS3, in case somebody's wondering. Everything from Resident Evil, Mortal Kombat, Dead Island, you got some NBA Live in there, some UFC. Just a lot of games. And this locker might be the first unit I've ever bought. I'm wearing this now. I've just started having a sneeze attack. Literally non-stop sneezing because it's so dusty in here. Um, this locker is probably the first unit I've ever bought that had so many kids, to kids toys. And uh, the kids toys were actually somewhat decent. Mostly, they're usually from like 2016, 2017. The games are usually all sports games. So this one's pretty good. You can see a nice pile of mouse poop everywhere. It's all school work. This thing is so heavy. This thing is so heavy. I have no idea why it's so heavy. Unless it's got literally books. And that's exactly what it is. Straight up. Got some fake Tim's. Literally. Books on top of books. Just books. Heavy books. More clothes related items, got sneakers or uh, slippers. All right, so we're getting kind of towards the back end of it. And it kind of looks like, I'm not gonna say <laughs> we got older with age, but it looks like this is more probably the adult stuff. Um, just cause it's like bigger bags, heavier stuff. Uh, I'm kind of having a good feeling about these two duffel bags. This one's been ripped open, but it looks like just probably linens. Oh, I didn't even think about the linens. I haven't seen linens yet. Uh, good all around, just a backpack here for the Yankees. That's a couple dollars. Are these Black Air Force One? Are these Black Air Force One? No, they're Jordans. Are these Air Force Ones? They might be. Kind of beat up. EJ would probably like them. So I save all my sneakers for EJ. If you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe down below. Uh, EJ is from the flea market. He's been here since the very beginning of Taco Stacks. Looks like more paperwork in there. What are these boxes? What is that? Uh, empty box. Looks like that's actually personal stuff on the bottom. Some games. Board games, that is. So my collected shoes. High, high heels to be exact. Sure are a bunch in there. No Hamilton Beach Grill though. Here's all the bathroom stuff. Wow, is that strong. It's all your bathroom stuff. Your nail polish collection. A 
I was like, uh, I probably shouldn't hold this, but I already did. A whole bunch of makeup. These needles right here are really sketching me out. There's like seven of them. So, uh, yeah. Cosmetics bag. All right, moving down to the next tote. Oh my. Tap and die set. Bunch of DVDs. This is well. We saw the VHS recorder. Now looks like a bunch of VHSs. What is this? That's the uh, the slim PS2. Wow. You know, I never actually found one of these. That's the slim version PS2. Where are the PS2 games? Saw PS3, saw DS, saw Wii. Maybe in that box. Nope. Literally a whole box of DVDs. Wow. Holy macro. Wow. Two for a dollar, it's gotta be a hundred dollars worth in there. Sixty bucks, seventy bucks, eighty bucks. There's a lot in that box. All right, I guess we'll go through this bag up here. Oh man, it's got some weight. I'd be really upset. If this is no, no. That looks like all, that's all comforters. What's in this? It's all men's clothes. Swiss cross? Never heard of it. That's a pillow, that's what that is. Man. Tell you what, used clothes, they really do reek. This, that's nothing. Right. Nothing on that side. This might just be cosmetics. Beard trimmer. We got all sorts of other stuff. Disinfectant spray. It's like a going away for a week bag. All right. So it looks like the rest is going to be closed. This is marked thermals. That's marked something gear. Oh, uh, we got immediate gear. Looks like clothes. And this was that other duffel bag, which is also filled of stuffed animals and clothes. So, lots and lots of clothes. All right, I ripped this bag open. I don't see anything marked. That's long sleeves. Figured jacket might have the best value. It's like a sweatshirt. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's sick. Look at that. Looks like an older, wow, look at that logo. Utah Jazz Basketball. Who's this made by? Starter, Pro Lines, Champion maybe? Champion. Champion, Medium. That's an adult meal, wow, that thing's really stained up. 
That's an awesome jacket. Wow. Look at the uh, the cuffs. That's an awesome jacket. Wow. That might be a keeper. Wish there was a bag marked uh, jerseys. That'd be awesome. All right. Got this glass thing got thrown in there. This is the last box. Still sealed. Just count on a box of Tupperware. Yep, all Tupperware. So between the clothes, I mean, I got a lot of, got a lot of clothes, and the video games. This wasn't too bad of a unit. Just like that, we're all done. Van is packed. All right, so nothing fell out on the way back. Um, an all-around awesome day. As you guys see, this thing is, I wouldn't say packed, packed, because you got still another three feet to go to the ceiling. But we got a bunch of stuff. Lots of video games, lots of clothes. I'm going to have to go through every single bag, uh, you know, and make sure there's nothing, any, there are any hidden gems, I should say. Uh, but the good thing is a lot of this stuff will get recycled into new clothes or I'll be donated elsewhere or it's going to be sold that's generally what I do with my channel um, there's still a lot of great things I like that Utah Jazz jacket which I threw up the front uh, but I won't bore you guys too much with going through all the clothes uh, but you got a great idea of what's here there is going to be a lot of garbage I mean we have empty boxes so I'm going to have to stop off at the recycling place and recycle that kind of stuff this bag is probably going to, have to be thrown out because it's ripped but Overall, an awesome day. If you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoy these treasure hunts, hit the like button if you guys haven't subscribed and you want to see more treasure hunts just like this, more storage unit videos in the future. I will be posting more going into the winter and then into the spring, gearing up for flea market season next spring. Uh, so there's definitely going to be more adventures. I know there's a couple more storage units coming up on site in the next couple weeks, so maybe we'll grab one there and show you another adventure so 40 bucks awesome 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 deal if you guys enjoyed it hit the like button i'll catch you guys next time for our next adventure and until next time have a great day keep living the dream peace